What's up guys, it's Mr. Jam and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. Um, I just arose, so, uh, arose, rice in Spanish. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Shout out to all my uh, Spanish viewers. But yeah, we're going to be using this team. Shout outs to DJ. Um, if you have any teams, guys, post them in the description down below. I mean, the, the comments... Po no, go in the click the link in the description below and post your teams on my profile. And so today we're gonna be using Choice Band. We're gonna use Offensive Theory. So a very out of the ordinary team. Um, not really, but but yes at the same time. And so let's see. Um, I don't have a, a lot of teams at the moment. Uh, if you notice the past two have been somewhat well the past three or so I've been pretty unorthodox well the last one was pretty generic I guess I had this Rio Nicholas team I just know those games might draw I think I mentioned that yesterday but if I use Marowak I use Choice Bandit Teeter I use Choice Bandit Rhyperior um, ones that I think typically one would assume is in, not as consistent um, and so we're going to be using Choice Bandit um, Landers today. Yesterday we really doubled down on Choice Specs Lele. And just to update you guys, um, the reason the road is still going on is because we still have one loss in hand. The cap is 40 and we're at 39. And so um, we're currently roughly 1900 after Decay. Uh, and well, it's just taking forever to find an OU game, which is crazy. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we were looking at. Very, very, very cool hail t um, rain team. Actually, this is really like this can be like really, really bad for us. Primarily because of its thunderous. Um. Hmm. actually a really poor matchup and he's 1688 of course <laughs> what's my Rotom Spadef or Fizdef it's a mixture Rotom's gonna be really important here like it's the key to victory for me um like literally the key to victory what's my speed here I'm faster than Crawdonk like Rotom is literally the key to victory for us here um Choice Bandit Landers is really good And I think I can snipe off his Pelipper turn one with my Bandit Landers. I could also go roll him if I miss. He's just going to go hard to... Mm, I think I can pick off his Pelipper turn one. Heatran is going to be super important to take a hit from that Thunderous. And then after that, I can probably Sacred Sword Sweep. So I'm going to try to catch his Pelipper. He actually um, opts for uh, Ferrothorn, which I didn't expect. Considering Ferrothorn invites in Heatran and gets rocks up. Um, I'm not going to show him that I'm I'm rocks yet. I'll let him go to the Pelipper. Because um, I'm going to lose a mind to this Kingdra anyway. If I hard switch to Rotom, he gets the U-turn damage. Did not expect Fair Throne. That means he expected my Rotom. Pelipper, and then he gets a kill with his Kingdra. I could go Rotom on the U-turn and force in what Thunderous. I like that a little better. Um, yeah, because I'm not taking too much net. I'm losing. Uh, I'm at most. That way he doesn't get a kill. He actually goes Ferrothorn. I'm really happy to see Ferrothorn, actually. I'm, like, really happy to see Ferrothorn. Because um, I get to VS out. I could have Wisped, but Rotom is just way too important for me to, to throw it in on a Wisp. Um, mm. 
This must be Shed Shell or Rocky Home, and I'm assuming Shed Shell for Magnezones. Um, probably knock CM into Metal Metal. So what I'll do is Clefable first, because I know he's either going to Power Whip or Knock Off, right? Um, and so he saw the Life Orb, so um, he's going to be wary. He's going to be wary of my Clefable and hard switch to Metal Metal. I got to keep up the offensive momentum because I don't have the... I don't have the the matchup here, um, and so I wanted to assume that he'd know that he can't knock me out. I mean, he'd assume that I can't knock him out rather, and he's like, "Well, I can just fire off a." Um, he goes hard. Th I oh my goodness! I can't believe he went hard thunderous there. Like him going hard thunderous. Had I. Oh my god, I can't believe you went hard thunderous there. So I'm going to go hard um, tornadoes. I know he's going to weather ball and I won't die. Like him going hard thunderous there was super high risk. But I mean, he's a lower ladder player. So I guess like shouldn't be too. So this hurricane damage is going to be important for my Kartana later on. Because I know um, he's going to knock me out. And there's not really much I can do about that right now. I can... I don't think Tran dies to Weather Ball um, from 88. If I do, so be it. Like, this is a really hard matchup. Um, it's a really hard matchup for me. Yes. So I'm going, I'm leaning towards hopefully sweeping with um, Excellent. And so I can Stone Edge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So now Kartana Sacred Sword can go crazy. So that's what I wanted right there. Force the King Drain. Um, we give him Heatran. So now he's toxic. He's locked himself into Surf. Right. And this allows for us to... Pain Split doesn't work here. Surf would to a KO me. Um... The worst case scenario would be him surfing and I don't switch and I and I get to a KO'd. Seventy five, he definitely to a KO me. Um My thing is just the, the Thunder is coming in for free. But his Pelipper is gone, so he needs this weekend. So my best bet is just to to get the yeah, he serves. Good. Perfect. I made the perfect play. It's exactly what we needed to do. Because um, I need to stall out his son. I mean, his surf is doing 45%. I need to stall out his 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 reign. Uh, fuck. Because Volt Switch wouldn't have really done me shit there. It's doing four. Jesus. Uh, reign... Ideally, Pelipper, I mean, Clefable can live from, I mean, from 90. I mean, there's no way I'm not living from 90. I mean, Kingdra is strong as shit. So I know it's certainly a possibility. Um, so. Um, okay, so I live. So the play was to Volt Switch versus his... Um, so he goes Crawdon, which I think is a, a ch I think I'm for sure win now. Well, well, no. Thing is, cart like you, you Crawdon, you give me the the beast boost. So he goes hard thunder. It's just like guaranteed. I think I guaranteed win now. Mm. No. Well. Right, if you go Ferrothorn first, that's a guaranteed win, no? Because now I'm plus two, and you only have Aqua Jet. Unless he has, like, Body Press. Let me think, if I EQ... Rocky Helmet, is it... Body, it is Body Press. That fucking sucks. So I lose. So that's the end of the road, man. Um...
that's a this is a really like I do not have a good range when you're only um range switching is Rotom you know it's not gonna be an easy time so had I knocked out the pet Ferrothorn here or if he didn't have body press like this is a pretty like random set knockoff body press isn't the most common so like if I'll switch to Lando there I guess it depends on what his metal metal is if it doesn't have EQ then I mean if it doesn't have superpower then I think I won there between the EQ damage and his Crawdont but now obviously Crawdont can just knock me out with Aqua Jet and there's nothing I can do so um, I did my best I did my best given what I had but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next one peace